I'm Stephen Broadbridge. I am the owner and runner of Caribbean Discovery Tours. That is an eco-adventure tourism company that is eco-adventure eco travel within Trinidad and Tobago. And we do a, a number of exciting off the beaten track locations. Uh, this cage is for um, re-releasing the blue gold macaws. It's a um, sort of a quarantine station where they put the macaws to get them used to the area and so they can make sure that they're, they're ready to face the wild conditions. Um, so they put them in here for a while, feed them and uh, um, make sure that they're getting exercise to the flights because usually they're kept in very small cages before they arrive here. So they need to develop their muscles so that they can survive uh, and get away from snake attacks and things. This is a Maurice palm, a young Maurice palm. You can see that all the support's been chewed away and it's collapsed. It's, that's been done by a bat, um, we call it a tent bat. The tent bat is using that as a shelter. So it's made its, made its own tent there. We hear them coming now. What, what we're doing is uh, ham, um, tapping the tree to uh, make the sound of a capuchin monkey Sometimes they'll, they'll pick up things that they want to break open to eat and they'll tap them on trees. The other monkeys will hear that and they'll, they'll try and come out to see if they can uh, mug the monkey with the food. Come on, Bill. Get him up here. Good. Trying to uh, attract some capuchin monkeys. Because when you do this, you're simulating a capuchin that's trying to get open like that's trying to open what something what was it called the other one the cannonball snails cannonballs. snails cannonballs anything but they knock it on the tree to try and open it so when you hit the tree maybe some more will come to come mug me for my food <laughs> right oh i think i see one okay you guys all fell for that <laughs> The ones, the ones above us right now are white-fronted capuchin that uh, have a more varied diet. They'll eat snails, they'll eat um, uh, vegetable, vegetarian stuff as well, leaves, uh, quite, a, quite a large variety. The howlers tend to be a lot easier to be more consistent. We find those all the time. Capuchin monkeys we don't always find, but um, I think they have a wider range. The capuchin monkeys when you do find them, as you can see, are quite a bit tamer. Quite a bit tamer than the howlers. They come much, much, much closer. As you see, we've had them very, very close today. Well, this, this sandbox tree is the largest in Trinidad. It's uh, hard to beat this size. Um, you can see a lot of the trees around here have actually, uh, a lot of the trees around here have actually uh, blown over. When they get to a certain size, they fall over, they topple. Because uh, of the sandy, very loose soil, um, they just don't last. Here, on the other hand, you, the massive root system I'm sitting on here has anchored this tree and allowed, allowed it to uh, get to record size. Massive root system here holding it down. Most of our commercially caught marine resources require like fish and lobster and things like that require wetland areas for spawning those actors industries um, birds pass through here too a lot of birds nest um, and uh, basically it's just a very rich very important productive uh, habitat for animals it's been chewed off of this guacano there's only one thing that would do this and it's a red howler monkey we we'll chew all this and discard the leaf this is the guacano the international name for this is cycropia and Cycropia, when the leaf is dry, sometimes you can see they're sort of curled up and dry like that. You can make them into tea and it'll actually dry up their sinus. Very good for sinus.
Uh, there is a peninsula, so you can walk out here. But um, more importantly, for uh, an emergency, Digicel phones work out here. But we do have Digicel, so we're all right. I think the, the wildlife is really, really special. It's what the travelers come for in the first place. What they don't expect is the, uh, the villages that we visit around the other side of the swamp. After our trip, Kernaham village, where we meet a lot of the people there, we get to sample a little bit of their culture. And we have families that actually cook fantastic uh, lunch for us and our visitors in that area.